All right, let's all start. We are seated. We will sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale and exhale everything out. I should probably make sure my... It's too, it's way too dark right now. That's okay. Take another big inhale and exhale it all out. Take one more big inhale, settle into the space. Oh, it's Monday. It's all going to work out just fine. Let your elbows get a little bit heavier. See if you can pull your shoulders a little bit further away from your ears as you lengthen your spine and see if you can reach the crown of your head up to the ceiling a little bit more, finding a tiny little bit more length through your back. Nice. Go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Feel an opening through your chest. And now inhale your arms out to the side and up overhead. Let your fingertips touch and then exhale, press everything down. Inhale, reach your arms out and overhead. And then exhale everything down. Inhale, reach up. On your exhale, you're gonna twist to the right, bringing your Left hand to your right knee and then lengthen your spine and exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. Breathe here. Inhale your arms back up overhead and exhale, twist to the left. Breathe in, exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Reach back up to center. Bring your hands down to your knees. Move your feet onto your mat and then slowly roll down, either holding onto your knees or the back of your thighs, feeling each vertebra come all the way down so that both feet are on the mat. Hug your right knee into your chest. Flex your right foot and then flex your left foot as you extend your left foot away from you. Breathe here, compressing through your hip. And now extend your right leg up to the ceiling. Maybe you can straighten your leg, maybe it's a little bent. Feel a big stretch through the back of your leg. Drop your right hip onto the floor. See if you can keep both shoulders even on the mat. Bend your right knee back into your chest. Hold on to your right knee with your right hand and take small circles. Reaching your leg out to the side and then back in. And now switch directions. Go ahead and place the right foot on the ground. Bring the left knee into the chest. Squeeze your left shin. Flex your left foot. Extend your left leg away from you. Breathe here. Give yourself a little bit more compression and then flex and straighten the left leg up to the ceiling. Holding on to the back of the left leg. Make sure your left hip is connected with the mat. Your back of your head is on the mat. Your shoulder blades are resting on the mat. Maybe you can hold your leg a little bit closer. And now bend the left knee, holding on to the left knee, make some knee stirs. So stir your knee away from you. And then switch direction. Okay. 
And then hug both knees into your armpits. Give yourself a little gentle rock side to side. And you can either roll onto one side or roll up to seated and make your way into your tabletop position. So there's a couple different ways you can get there. Now, once you're in your tabletop, make sure that your hands are under your shoulders, your pointer finger is pointing forward. Drop your belly, open your heart, big inhale. Exhale, round. Inhale forward. Exhale round. One more. Inhale forward. And exhale round. Come to neutral. Lift your left leg up behind you. So your foot is at a 90, your leg is at a 90 degree. And now make that same circle by bringing the knee forward to your tricep, down underneath you, back up behind you, smoothing it out. And now switch direction. Notice how much you're leaning to one side. Can you try and align your shoulder and your hip? And now extend your left leg back behind you. Rock back and forth over the toe, stretching out the back of your leg. Slide your left leg over to the left so that you're pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. So you're gonna start to feel a stretch maybe through the back of your thigh. If it's too much, bring your toes up and that should take that off a little bit. From here, you're gonna sit back like you're going into a um, child's pose. So maybe you need to adjust your leg. And then if you can, walk yourself over towards the left. Breathe here. You should feel a deep stretch through the inside of your thigh, maybe through your right back side. And then walk yourself back to the front and slowly pull yourself back up, coming back into your tabletop. Drop your belly, open your heart, big inhale. Exhale, round. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral, lift your right foot up behind you. Open the right knee out to the side towards your right tricep and then back up and around. All the way out and around making big circles. And after the third one, switch directions. And after the third one, Extend your right leg back behind you and rock back and forth over your right toes. Slide the right leg out to the right to where it's comfortable for you. And then shift your hips back towards your left heel. Coming into a child's pose. And now walk yourself over towards the right. Breathing here. And walk back to the front. Come back up to tabletop. Turn your fingertips to the outer edge of your mat. Take some gentle rocks side to side. Turn your fingertips towards your hips and towards your knees. Take a couple rocks back and forth. 
And then turn your fingers back to the front of your mat. So you're in your tabletop position. You're gonna curl your toes and peel up into your downward facing dog. Breathing in. On your exhale, lower back down to your tabletop. Breathe in. On your exhale, lift back up to down dog. Lower back into your tabletop. Last one, exhale, lift up into your down dog. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, stretching out the backs of your legs. Center the weight between your two feet, reach your hips up to the sky, and now press into your left foot and your right hand. And then return to center. Press into your right, left hand and right foot. And return to center. Reach your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Lower your knee down, untuck your toes, reach your arms out and up. Drop your hips forward. Exhale your hands back down, curl your toes, step back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee down, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, let your hips sink forward. Back up to center, let your hands come down, step back to downward facing dog. Three breaths here, reaching your hips up. Maybe you softly bend your knees, press your hips up and back, and then slowly restraighten your legs, seeing if you can find more extension, more length, more space. Float your right leg up again. Step your right foot all the way forward. Lower your left knee down. Reach your arms up. Exhale, let your hips shift forward. Reach for the floor as you shift back into your half split. Stretching behind that right leg. Come back forward, reach your arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale your hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee down. Reach your arms up. Crescent lunge, let your hips sink forward. Exhale, shift your hips back, half split. Driving your left heel into the ground, reaching your hips back towards your right heel. And then reach out and up, coming back into that crescent lunge. Exhale your hands down, step back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Float your right leg up behind you, step your right foot all the way forward. Lower your left knee down, reach your arms up. Crescent lunge. Exhale your hips back, half split. Reach your arms back and up, crescent lunge. And this time lift straight up, exhale, twist to the right. Reach your arms back up overhead, exhale them down, step back into downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee down. Reach your arms up. Sink your hips forward. Crescent lunge. Exhale back. Half split. Reaching your hips back towards your heel. 
Come back forward into your crescent lunge, reaching your arms up. Press down, lift yourself straight up, and exhale, twist to the left. Reaching your left arm back, right arm forward. Breathe here. Reach your arms back up and then exhale down, back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Lower your left knee down. Reach your arms up. Exhale your hips forward, crescent lunge. Exhale back, half split. Inhale back forward, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the right. Reach your arms away from you. And now if available, drop your right arm down, left arm up. Cartwheel yourself down, come back into downward facing dog. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Lower your right knee down. Reach on up, crescent lunge. Exhale back, half split. Inhale back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, lengthen and twist to the left. Breathe here, inner thighs active, draw your navel in. If it's available, drop your left hand down, reach your right arm up and over. And now cartwheel your hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Paddle your down dog out. Right, left, left, right. We're gonna walk our feet up to meet our hands, nice and slow. Coming into a forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Feel the backs of your thighs start to stretch out. And now slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Shifting the weight into the heels. Nice and slow, rolling all the way up. Coming up to stand. Roll your shoulders back. One, two, three, and then roll them forward. One, two, and three, reach your arms out and up overhead, interlace your fingers, release your pointer fingers. Make sure your feet are either directly under your hips or next to each other, pressing together like one leg. Inhale, lift up on your exhale, bend over to the left. Now notice if you brought your right shoulder forward and see if you can bring it back in line. With your left hand, I'm sorry, I meant your left shoulder. With your left hand, pull your right arm to get a deeper stretch through the right side of your body. Nice correction there, Emma. And press the right hip closer to the door. Inhale, back up to center. Let your shoulders relax. Maybe you switch the interlace of your finger so your other thumb is on top. On your next exhale, bend to the right. Press down into the left foot. Use the right arm to pull the left arm, deepening the stretch through that entire side of your body. And then come back up to center. Release the clasp, gaze up at your fingers and take a huge forward fold, softly bending your knees, coming all the way down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, reach your arms all the way out and up, fingertips touch. Then exhale your hands down by your side. Take a breath here. Check that your feet are underneath your hips. Wiggle your fingers, get the tension out of your shoulders. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back. Pause here in your low lunge. Plant your right hand down, twist up to the left. Bring your left hand back down. Step your left leg back to meet your right. You're in your plank pose. Lower your knees. Hug your elbows in by your chest. Lower your chest and chin. Untuck your toes. Coming into your baby cobra. Exhale back down. Lift up through tabletop. Curl your toes, peel your hips up, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. Pause in your low lunge. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms all the way out, up overhead, let your fingertips touch, and then exhale, fold right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back. Stay here in your low lunge. Drive the energy down through your right foot. Plant your left hand, twist up to the right. Breathe here. Bring your right hand down, step back to plank. Lower your knees, hug your elbows in, lower your chest and chin, untuck your toes, lift your heart, baby cobra. Exhale through tabletop into your downward facing dog. Breathe here. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward, pause. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, your hands down by your side. We'll do that again. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back. Hold here in your low lunge. Plant your right hand down, twist to the left. Maybe you take your left arm back behind you and twist a little bit deeper. Maybe not. And then bring your hand all the way down, step back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Everybody meet in downward facing dog. And breathe. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward, pause. Step your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms up, palms touch. And then you exhale and fold right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back, pausing your low lunge. Twist and open up to the right. Right fingertips reach up to the ceiling. Maybe you bring your right fingertips back towards your heel, opening through your heart, twisting a little bit deeper. And now bring your right hand all the way back down to the mat. Step back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. 
Either way, keep those elbows close to your chest. Baby Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale into Downward Facing Dog. Breathe here. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Step your left foot to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms out and up, fingertips touch. Exhale, your fingertips down by your side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back. Maybe you come up to a high lunge or you can stay in that low lunge. Take a breath here. Maybe you open to the left. Take a breath here. Cartwheel your hands down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, baby cobra or upward facing dog. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. And breathe. Float your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Step your right foot to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, your hands down by your side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back. Stay in low lunge or reach your arms up high lunge. Stay here or twist and open to the right. And then cartwheel yourself down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And breathe. Put your right leg up, step your right foot forward, Step your left foot to meet the right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Float your arms down by your side. Check that your feet are either hip distance or that they are touching. It's up to you, whichever feels more comfortable. Stand up nice and tall, and then sit your hips back, reaching your arms forward, coming into chair pose. Shift the weight ever so slightly back into your heels. Take one more breath here, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back. Lower your right heel down, reach your arms up, warrior one. Exhale your hands down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, lower your left heel down, reach your arms up, warrior one. Exhale your hands down, step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And then walk your feet back up to your hands, forward fold. Sit your hips back, coming into your chair pose. Stay here in your chair, building strength, and then stand all the way up. Let your arms come down by your side. 
Take a breath here. All right. Wiggle out if you need to, come to the very top of your mat. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Holding in your plank. Take a breath here. Feel your body lengthen and gain strength. Drop both knees down, lower your chest and chin. Untuck your toes, come into your baby cobra. Lower your, your forehead back down to the mat. Rock your hands out to 10 and two. Either coming onto your palms or maybe your fingertips, we're gonna peel our heart open. Exhale, roll it back down. Inhale, peel your heart open. See if you can find space and movement in those vertebrae. And roll it back down one more time. Peel it open. And exhale back down. Bring your fingertips by your chest. And then lift yourself back up into your downward facing dog. Breathe here. Put your left leg up behind you. Draw your left knee to your chest. Float your left leg back up behind you. Draw your left knee towards your right tricep. Reach your left leg back up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward, coming into your low lunge. Drop your right heel down, cartwheel yourself up into your warrior two. Breathe here. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. Open back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, turn your left toes to face the doorway. Bring your hands to your hips. Open your heart, exhale, hinge forward. Coming down as far as is comfortable for you. Lift back up to a flat back, extend your spine, and then exhale forward a little bit deeper. Release your hands to the floor and then walk your hands towards your front foot, coming into a low lunge. Lower your right leg down and then bring your right heel towards your right bum and lower it back down. So you're doing a little hamstring curl. One more. And then plant your hands, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here in your down dog, pedal it out if you need to. Take a big inhale. Float your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee to your chest. Put your right leg up behind you. Bring your right knee across towards your right tricep. Put your right knee up behind you. Draw the right foot all the way forward. Slide it in between your hands. Drop your left heel down. Cartwheel yourself up into warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. Come back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, turn your toes to the windows, bring your hands to your waist. 
Lift up through your spine, exhale, hinge forward. Finding a deep forward fold. And then lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Bring your hands down to the floor. Walk your hands towards your right foot, coming into a low lunge. Lower your left heel, left knee down, and then curl your left foot in and straighten it. Curl and straighten. One more time. Plant your hands, step back to plank. Go through your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin. Maybe you skip it and go into child's pose. Maybe there's some variation that feels right for you tonight. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of spicy things into this. Do not feel obligated to do them. You know, I'm trying to hit everyone's little levels in here. So flex your left leg up, draw your left knee into your chest. Float your left leg up. Draw your left knee towards your right elbow. Stay here or extend that left leg out and open into a fallen star. Come back into your plank, bringing that left leg back up behind you, three-legged dog. Step your left foot all the way forward, coming into your low lunge. Plant your right hand, twist to the left. So you can either come back through center for your low lunge, or you can spiral yourself up into warrior two. So a little more core, a little bit more strength, a little bit more balancing, but you do not need to do that. From your warrior two, you're gonna turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle, reach your right arm up and over. Drop that left hip a little bit deeper. Maybe you wanna explore a half bind. Unwind, coming back to warrior two, straighten your left leg, turn your toes to face the door, bring your hands to your waist, breathe in, exhale, hinge forward. Come halfway down to a flat back, drop your hands down to the floor. Plant your left hand underneath your face and then twist up and open to the right. Breathe here. And then bring your hand down, walk yourself towards your front foot, coming back into your low lunge. Drop your right knee down, stay here, or reach your left arm up, bend your right knee. Stay here, or maybe that hand and foot can connect. Take one more breath. And then slowly unwind, step back into your plank, optional vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, optional back bend, optional downward facing dog. Breathe here. All right, other side. Put the right leg up behind you. Draw the right knee into your chest. Reach the right leg up behind you. Right knee to left tricep elbow. Maybe you extend that right leg out to the side and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Nice, guys. And then come back down, reach the right leg back up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot all the way forward, low lunge. Twist up to the right. Either come back through low lunge or spiral yourself up into your warrior two. 
Look at that core strength. Amazing. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. Now notice if you're like putting all your weight into your arm, into your leg, and see if you can lift out, drop your hip, and then maybe bring your top arm behind you for a half bind. Take one more breath here. And then unwind, straightening your front leg. Turn your toes to face the windows. Bring your hands to your waist. Breathe in, lengthen, exhale, hinge forward. Bring your fingertips down to the floor. Find your flat back. Place your right hand down underneath your face. Twist up to the left. And breathe here. Bring your left hand down. Walk your hands towards your front foot. Come into your low lunge. Lower your left knee down. Stay here. Or reach your right arm up. Bend your left leg. And then maybe your hand and your foot make a connection. Breathe here. Slowly release. Step back to plank. Your choice, knees, chest, chin. Back bend, downward facing dog, and breathe. One more time through. Adjust as you need to. Do what feels right. Put your left leg up behind you. Left knee to chest coming forward. Left knee up behind you. Left knee to right elbow or tricep. Maybe you extend the leg out. Reach your right arm up, fallen star. Come back to three-legged dog, planting both hands, extending the left leg up behind you. Step the left foot all the way forward. Open twi twist to the left, reaching your left arm up. Come back through center or cartwheel yourself up into your warrior two. Take a breath here. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle, reach your right arm up and over. Beautiful long lines. Maybe you take a half bind, maybe you just stay here. Breathe. Unwind, straightening your front leg. Turn your toes to the door. Exhale, hinge forward. Bring your hands all the way down. Lengthen your spine into a flat back. You're going to take your left hand and reach for your right shin or ankle. Bring your right arm either up to the ceiling or to your hip. Deepening the twist. And then slowly unwind, walk yourself all the way towards your left front foot, coming back into your low lunge. Lower your right knee down. Reach your left arm up and back, maybe making that connection with your foot. Breathe here. And then slowly release, step back to plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here in your down dog. Float your right leg up behind you, right knee to chest. Right leg back up behind you. Right knee to left elbow or tricep. Stay here or extend that right leg out. Reach your left arm up, fall in triangle. 
Bring your left hand back down, reach your right leg back up behind you, three-legged dog. Step your right foot all the way forward, plant your left hand, twist to the right. Cartwheel yourself up into your warrior two. Breathe here. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come down into side angle, reach your left arm up. Reach your left arm overhead, finding this long straight line. Maybe come into a half bind. Unwind back into your warrior two. Turn your toes to face the window. Breathe in, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your back. Take your right hand, reach for your left shin. Yep. <laughs> Ankle, and then maybe reach your left arm up to the ceiling using that leg to leverage you and come into a deeper twist. And then slowly release, walk yourself back to your front foot, step back to plank, go through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, back bend, into downward facing dog. And breathe here. Lower your knees onto your mat, cross your ankles, and roll back into a seated position. Extend your legs out in front of you, sit up nice and tall, and then exhale, fold forward. Letting your back stretch, the backs of your legs, let your shoulders relax. Let your chin come to your chest. Letting gravity help you deepen the stretch. And then slowly roll back up. Slide both of your feet onto the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling, reach your arms forward. Draw your belly button in. And on your exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Slower than is comfortable. Slower than you've ever gone before. And then once you're all the way down, bring your feet so they're hip distance apart, your knees are pointing up. We'll do a couple bridge poses. So palms face down, toes away from you. And then lift your hips up. Rolling your spine one vertebra at a time. Make sure your toes, your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel are grounding into the mat. Maybe you can interlace your fingers. Deepening your back bend. And then roll down one vertebra at a time. You can windshield wiper your knees. And we'll take one more back bend. Your feet are parallel. Connect your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel. Lift your vertebra one at a time, starting with your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Interlace your fingers, shimmy your shoulders together, deepening your back bend. And then release that and come all the way down. Again, windshield wiper your legs.
Bring your knees into your armpits. Reach for your big toe with your peace fingers. Lift your feet up to the ceiling, coming into a happy baby if that's comfortable for you. And now press your lower back into the mat, the back of your head into the mat. Feel your back compress against the floor, drawing your belly button down. Maybe you extend both legs. Maybe you extend one leg at a time. Exploring your happy baby. Maybe you like to bring the soles of your feet together. Maybe you like to rock side to side. All right, now extend both legs up to the ceiling, cross your right leg in front of your left, bend your knees and reach for your shins, your ankles or the outer edges of your feet. Creating a deep hip stretch. Try and think about your spine staying long and compressed on the mat. All right, take your left hand to your right knee. Open your right arm out to the side and then drop both legs over to the left. Think about your right shoulder reaching for the mat. Stretch your right fingers apart. Give them a wiggle in and out. And then now roll back to center. Extend both legs up to the ceiling. Cross the left leg over the right, bend your knees, reach for the outer edges or ankles or shins of your legs. Breathe here. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Bring your left arm out to the side and now bring both knees over to the right. Stretch your left fingers away from each other and then curl them in and then stretch them out and curl them in. And roll back into center. Extend your legs up to the ceiling, hug your knees in, take this time to do anything else that you might feel we missed tonight. And if you're feeling completed, you can go ahead and stretch your legs out into your Shavasana. Taking your time. So whether you like to lie down, legs straight, the traditional Shavasana is lying flat on your back with your arms and legs extended away from you. Once you get into that position, think about drawing all the energy into the center of your body, holding that energy, and then on your exhale, let it roll all the way out, off your fingers and off your toes. I'm gonna come around and do a Shavasana adjustment. If you prefer that I respect your space and don't place my hands on you, place one hand on your stomach and I will know to do that. Thank you. All right, I wanna, you all to relax. I want you all to get heavy and melt into the floor. Take one more deep breath. 
and relax. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And then reach your arms out overhead like you're taking a big good morning stretch. Stretching from fingertips to toes. And then when you're ready, roll onto one side. Taking your time to get there, letting your body adjust to moving. And after a few breaths on your side, go ahead and press yourself up into a seated position. One that's comfortable for you. Think about sitting with your shoulders over your hips. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Feel the breath, feel your heartbeat, feel your life force moving around inside of you. This is always gonna be there for you. Nurture it, take care of it. Thank yourself for showing up tonight. And I thank you all for allowing me to lead you through your practice. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Thank you.